The AIM-9 Sidewinder, one of the most iconic air-to-air -air missiles in military history, stands as a testament to ingenuity and innovation in aerospace design. Here we trace the journey of the Sidewinder from its initial conception in the early 1950s through its rigorous design and development process to its introduction and operational use. And we explore the critical decisions and technological advancements that shaped the missile's evolution and highlight its significant impact on aerial combat. The inception of the AIM-9 Sidewinder can be traced back to the early 1950s at the US Naval Ordnance Test Station at China Lake, California. The missile was conceived as a simple, reliable and effective infrared guided weapon that could enhance the capabilities of fighter aircraft in air-to-air -air combat. The project was initially driven by the need for a missile that could provide a decisive advantage in engagements against faster and more maneuverable jet aircraft emerging in the post-World War II era. The project unofficially named after the Sidewinder Rattlesnake, known for its heat-sensing hunting capabilities, aimed to develop a missile that utilised infrared homing to lock onto the heat signatures of enemy aircraft. This approach promised a significant improvement over earlier unguided rockets and early radar-guided missiles, which had limitations in accuracy and effectiveness. The development of the Sidewinder was marked by several innovative breakthroughs in guidance technology, propulsion and aerodynamics. The project team, led by physicist Dr. William B. McLean, focused on creating a missile that was both simple and robust, qualities that would ensure its reliability in the harsh conditions of aerial combat. Wander's design was its infrared homing guidance system. This system utilised a seeker head that could detect and lock onto the infrared emissions from an aircraft's engine exhaust. The early versions of the Sidewinder used a spinning mirror to scan the target area and direct the seeker head toward the heat source. This innovative approach allowed the missile to maintain a lock on its target despite evasive manoeuvres. The propulsion system for the Sidewinder was a solid fuel rocket motor, which provided the necessary thrust to achieve supersonic speeds. The missile's airframe was designed with simplicity and effectiveness in mind. It featured cruciform wings and tail fins that provided stability and control during flight. The use of a roller on, a small device attached to the tail fins, helped counteract the rolling motion induced by the missile's rapid spin, ensuring accurate guidance and stability. The Sidewinder's development process involved extensive testing and refinement to ensure its performance and reliability. The first successful test firing of the prototype known as XAAMN7, occurred in September 1953. This milestone marked a significant step forward, demonstrating the feasibility of infrared guided missile technology. Throughout the mid-1950s, the Sidewinder underwent numerous test firings and evaluations. These tests helped identify and address various technical challenges, such as improving the Seekhead's sensitivity and refining the missile's aerodynamic characteristics. The iterative testing and development process culminated in the production of the AIM-9B, the first operational variant of the Sidewinder. The AIM-9B Sidewinder entered service with the United States Navy in 1956, followed by the United States Air Force. Its introduction marked a significant leap in air-to-air -air combat capability, providing fighter pilots with a reliable and highly effective weapon system. The simplicity and effectiveness of the Sidewinder quickly earned its reputation as a game-changer in aerial warfare. The AIM-9 Sidewinder proved its worth in various combat scenarios, showcasing its effectiveness and versatility. One of the earliest and most notable uses of the Sidewinder occurred during the Second Taiwan Strait Crisis in 1958. The Republic of China Air Force, equipped with AIM-9B missiles supplied by the United States, engaged in aerial combat with the People's Liberation Army Air Force. The Sidewinder demonstrated its capability by achieving several successful kills against enemy aircraft, solidifying its reputation as a formidable air-to-air -air weapon. The Vietnam War further highlighted the Sidewinder's operational impact. The missile became a standard armament on US Navy and Air Force fighter aircraft, including the F-4 Phantom II and the F-8 Crusader. In numerous engagements, the M9B and its subsequent variants, such as the M9D and M9G, proved to be decisive in achieving air superiority. 
This Hardwinder's infrared homing capability allowed pilots to engage enemy aircraft with a higher degree of accuracy and effectiveness, even in the challenging conditions of aerial combat over Vietnam. One particularly famous engagement occurred on June 17, 1965, when Lieutenant Commander John W. Young of VF-21, flying an F-4B Phantom II, used an AM-9B to down a North Vietnamese MiG-17. This marked one of the first confirmed kills by a US Navy aircraft using the Sidewinder, and demonstrated the missile's reliability in combat. The success of the AM-9B spurred continuous improvements and development of the Sidewinder missile. Subsequent variants introduced enhancements in guidance systems, propulsion and warhead design, keeping the missile relevant in the face of evolving threats and advancements in aircraft technology. The AM-9L, introduced in the mid-1970s, represented a significant leap forward in the Sidewinder's evolution. This variant featured an all-aspect seeker, allowing it to lock onto targets from any angle, including head-on engagements. The M9L's improved seeker sensitivity and tracking capability made it a potent weapon against a wide range of aerial targets. It gained widespread acclaim during the Falklands War in 1982, where British Harrier jets, armed with M9L Sidewinders, achieved several successful kills against Argentine aircraft. The Sidewinder's evolution continued with the M9M, which introduced countermeasures resistance and improved guidance algorithms. The M9X, the latest variant in the Sidewinder family, represents a cutting-edge air-to-air missile with advanced infrared imaging seekers, thrust vectoring control and enhanced manoeuvrability. The M9X's capabilities make it a critical component of modern air combat, ensuring its relevance well into the 21st century. The M9 Sidewinder's effectiveness and versatility led to its adoption by numerous Allied nations, solidifying its status as a cornerstone of global air defence. Its compatibility with various aircraft platforms and ease of integration made it a preferred choice for air forces worldwide. The Sidewinder's legacy extends beyond its technical achievements. It symbolises the value of simplicity and reliability in military design, proving that innovative solutions can emerge from focusing on core principles. The missile's enduring success also highlights the importance of continuous improvement and adaptation in response to evolving threats and technological advancements. The design and development of the M9 Sidewinder represents a remarkable journey of innovation, perseverance and technological advancement. From its humble beginnings at China Lake to its status as a global icon in air-to-air -air combat, the Sidewinder has left an indelible mark on military aviation. Its success is a testament to the vision of its creators and the relentless pursuit of excellence that defines the history of aerospace development.